Cologne is a working class city on the banks of an ancient river. Its population, shaped by centuries of immigration, is proud of their city and its place in the world. Famous for its twin cathedral spires, Cologne's mismatched architecture comes thanks to heavy bombing during World War II and decades of post-war rebuild. Cologne has a fierce, ongoing rivalry with another city just up the river, and it's based on football, beer and industry. Sound familiar? Well, Cologne has been twin with Liverpool for over half a century, a decision made in the 1950s to help the two cities rebuild and to learn about each other in the wake of the war. Many British soldiers were stationed here during peacetime, and my granddad did part of his national service in Cologne. So I came back to retrace some family footsteps. No, it's okay. I didn't, I didn't realise it was you. I've been in Cologne for a couple of days this week. Have you? Yeah. Oh, my old haunts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you remember about it? Anything? Stood on the steps of the cathedral watching all this parade go by. It was very good. But the rest, of, nice. the rest of the time you were drunk? Mostly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, many, so many good clubs around, you know. Like Cologne's two most famous exports and reasonably priced lager and Lucas Podolski. Weirdly relabeled as a sports drink. <laughs> as with everything in Cologne, the food is dictated by the city's working class effort. Thank you, Jim. Another incredibly healthy snack. Get of Cologne. The locals call it hearty and simple fare, which roughly translates as meat and carbohydrates. Thank you, Jim. Schnitzel, fries, and curry first, a dish of fried pork sausage, first pioneered in Berlin when Hertha Hauer got hold of some Worcester sauce left behind by visiting British soldiers. It is all, of course, accompanied by beer, something Cologne is very proud of and something that forms the backbone of their rivalry with nearby Dusseldorf. So they drink Kolsch in Cologne and they drink Alt beer in Dusseldorf and if you order Alt beer in Cologne or Kolsch in Dusseldorf, you kind of get sneered at by the waiters apparently, which I really like. I'm really into that level of pettiness in terms of civic rivalry. Kolsch, the local favourite, is absolutely everywhere. And if you don't stop the waiters, it will keep coming. This glass empty. I bring a new one. Yeah. I never ask. Hell of a tradition. FC Cologne is the heartbeat of the city. Founded in 1948 as a merger between two other local clubs, they play in the Bundesliga, Germany's top division. They last won the league in 1978 and they won the cup in 1983. It's been a long wait for a title, a pain I know all too well. It's not all doom and gloom though, as Dusseldorf got relegated last year after throwing away a 2-0 lead in the derby to Cologne. Writer stand build Hohenzollernbruch. I, I think. Cologne isn't Munich or Berlin, in the same way that Liverpool isn't London. It has sharp edges, it's harsh, and the locals self-deprecatingly call it ugly. It's been rebuilt several times over, and it's known incredible hardship. It's those locals that make it though. Like any good city, it's their humour, their kindness, and their hospitality that set Cologne apart. That, and the never-ending supply of tiny, delicious beers. I enjoyed that and it was nice to, yeah, Retrace oh, re 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 some of your steps, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>